Guys, this is not like going to Vegas. This is not like going to Atlantic City. This is Newport Beach. It's not like going to LA. No, hope, right? hell no. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. make it to Huntington yeah, Beach very yeah, often, yeah, let alone exactly. LA. Um, we're in our own little bubble here, and this is part of it. Enjoy your bubble. Yeah, enjoy your bubble, and uh, enjoy the mayor's table. We'll have her. One of my absolute favorite foods on the whole planet is right here, ahi. What do you think? I, it's just too pretty to eat. And, and <laughs> Chef, what is it, what, what's going on here? You got, it's on toast, which I absolutely love that idea. This was like, uh, what is a Southern California take on uh, pan con tomate? So the, uh, the tomato bread, and oh, we good. took uh, some Hawaiian ahi tuna, we actually make our own tomato paste. Oh, wow. And then take some collaborating chilies, fold it in. So again, very simple, you well, know, and then we, we use the rye goods bread actually right across the street. Mm. Oh. So they do so a great job. It's all in house or all in uh, family in Newport yes. Beach. And we are in Newport Beach at the Lido house with Chef Riley, who has put together a beautiful spread for us to try his food. And I just wanted to mention something too. We were talking earlier some people may be hesitant to come down to Lido House, Lido House, excuse me, in the mayor's table. It's a little above me. It's, it's, it, maybe it's too stuffy. It's not. This is a local community-based restaurant hotel. You need to come down. They, they plan their meals this way. They plan their menu this way. They plan their rooms this way. It's a local establishment. And we all know about Newport being local. Yeah, and guys, let me tell you something. Uh, Riley here, if, if you want to have a special dinner and have pair it with wines and, 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 and make it opulent and do whatever you want. He'll oh, do that yeah. for you. He'll come in and do that for you. Yes. But other nights, it's families, okay? It's a family place with family pricing, and you're in Newport Beach in the best eatery that we have. And a beautiful bar right off the lobby, as you yeah. would expect, and craft cocktails there that are reasonably priced. Guys, this is not like going to Vegas. This is not like going to Atlantic City. This is Newport Beach. It's not like going to LA. No, hope, right? Hell no. <laughs> exactly. I don't make it to Huntington Beach very often, let alone exactly. LA. We're in our own little bubble here, and this is part of it. Enjoy your bubble. Yeah, enjoy your bubble, and uh, enjoy the mayor's table. You, you do have, I mean, we have a little bit for everybody, right? If you want to come in and just have the burger, uh, the award-winning burger. Award-winning yeah. burger. It was uh, awesome. And you can get that. That's on the dinner menu. You can get A5 Wagyu with caviar. That's also on there. But and they, Or you can sit at the bar and then get this beautiful bucket of chicken, uh, which is gluten-free with our award-winning fries and fried chicken. I mean, we have a little bit. Uh, you, so you can come multiple times a week because it's all about the locals, right? How do we get there? Because right. hotel guests and people that are traveling, the best time you ever have in a hotel restaurant is when you're sitting next to a local and you get to hear, yeah. hey, where am I going? What should I do tonight? Oh, yeah. let's talk about Duffy's. You need to get on a Duffy mm -hmm. boat, right? That's Where's what, the hot spots? Right. Exactly. What do you do in Newport? You will hear that when you're sitting at this bar or in this restaurant. Well, Riley, you were telling me when you came to work here, uh, Mr. Olson, Bob decided that to give you a bike. And what did he tell you to do? He said... A bicycle, guys. Yes. So a uh, little beach cruiser. And he said, go bar hopping. Go check out all the local spots to understand what this community is about. So I did that for a year, year and a half before we even opened. Uh, I hope it was on Bob's you. card. Uh, <laughs> so. Good job, Bob. <laughs> yeah. And, and that was one of the best things he could have Smart. done for me to immerse myself in this community. To understand. Yeah. That's why you've came up with what you've come up with. What's our last dish here? So then the last dish is our uh, braised short rib, 72 hour braised short rib. Mm. And it gets a little sauteed Bloomsdale spinach from the farm. Sure, and probably, yeah. it gets a yuzu marmalade on top. Explain the marmalade. So we cook down oh, a bunch my. of Look at this, citrus. it just comes right apart. Look at that. It's, it's unreal. It really is. And and you have that citrus. Get some of that marmalade on there. Yeah. Because yeah. yuzu is my favorite far, citrus. So uh, we cook down a bunch of citrus and then put some uh, yuzu inside. And it's just 
Guys, yeah, this this stuff is just it's, melting. It's it is. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And that's one of the products that it's it's beef from Nyman Ranch, so a oh. co-op that's sourcing local from local farms and small farms, uh, so we can trace back to again where does that beef come from? I wouldn't have thought that marmalade on this, but it is really works. Wow, that taste is like perfect combo. I've never had that on there. Marmalade, no, I hadn't either. You need acid. It balances it. That acid balances yeah. the yeah, richness exactly. of a uh, seventy-two hour braised beef guys at the end of the day uh i appreciate you uh hanging out with us at uh, happening now with hammer and uh watching the podcast and hitting that subscribe and like but the best thing you can do for me is come down to the mayor's table and hit their subscribe and like check it out we'll catch you next time